Cold Misty Tuesday night, the Mode West Girls soccer team took on Lincoln Pius X in a battle to send the winning team to compete in the state tournament. The Wildcats sustained pressure early, keeping the ball in the Pius defensive zone for most of the first half. Shots were plentiful during this attack, and it would wear out Pius, but ultimately the Thunderbolt goaltending kept the score locked to zero. Overall, we were feeling really well that we were going to like kill the team, which wasn't the end result, but we still did the best we could. Well, during the game, we were like we p were possessing a lot, like more than the other team. So we had to, we thought that we could just score right away and like keep it going. But we just came out harder than them. Pies would occasionally find themselves upfield, but were often caught off sides or closely defended by the Wildcats. Sophomore goaltender Ella Konwinski made timely save after timely save and would hold off Pius for a little while until the shot from the middle of the crease was poked in just a little bit after the midway point of the first. The Wildcats would use halftime to rest but also prepare for the second half with insight from coaches and teammates to keep spirits high even though they were down. Up until that point, we were, I mean, we had done everything right defensively. Um, we knew exactly what they were going to try and do. So it was just more or less stay the course. And there were large, if you, if you were at the game, you saw the first 20, 25 minutes, we dominated the game. Finishing is always hard, especially against a quality team. So we just need to finish and just stay the course. It was going to be fine, and it was. With their season on the line, Mood West put themselves back in control by keeping the pressure on the Pius defense, keeping the ball out of their defensive zone, and put forth a more offensively pressured strategy. The Wildcats would find themselves in a corner kick scenario. With everybody crashing the net, junior midfielder Kelly Kirshner knocked on the loose ball and would tie the game at one. I just knew that I somehow needed to get the ball in the back of the net to get us back in the game, and that was an opportunity that I was given, so I knew how to take it and do anything I could to just find a way to get the ball in the goal. Just needed to make sure that we could keep our composure and stay calm instead of just trying to just kick it out of the back and just possess and take any opportunity we had to like clear it out so they didn't get a chance. The second half would end in back and forth pressure from both sides, but ultimately the score would stay tied, sending the game to overtime. Two 10-minute overtimes solved absolutely nothing as both sides were strong defensively, with goaltenders making amazing saves. It would take a shootout to decide who would advance. Pius would score on every attempt with the Wildcats being stopped on two of their shots, sealing it for Pius and advancing them to the state tournament. This run won't soon be forgotten, as the Wildcats will look forward to be back here next season. The MWHS Wildcat News, this has been Miguel Perez-Reyes and Samuel Whitaker.